Hello, myself Chirak Baloria. Today I have teach you if else statement in C programming. In C programming, uh, top bottom approach statements are executed sequentially. If uh, statement execution is sequentially, so control the flow of execution is also necessary. So C provides two style of flow control to change the sequential execution of the program. Uh, first one is branching or decision making. Uh, branching means uh, is deciding what action to take on particular sequence of uh, statement looping looping is deciding how many times to take a certain action on particular one two or uh, so on uh, statements so decision making statement is depending on the condition block need to be executed or not which is decided by condition so in c language there are three types of decision making if 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 else and switch uh, this is the types of if statement. Today I have see if else statement. In if else statement, uh, both are the keyword of programming in C. If is a most basic statement of decision making statement. It tells to program or execute a certain part of code only if particular condition is true. Using else, we can create an alternative block or block for if part. It is always optional. It is recommended to use when we are having alternate block of condition. So now follow the flowchart to understand if else statement syntax. Next. So flowchart will be start over here. So condition. So this is diamond. There are two options. One is true. One is false. If it true statement one will be executed. If uh, true uh, condition is false then statement two will be executed. One is ignored. So anyone uh, either one or two will be executed finally both are go through the next statement and finally flowchart is stopped. Now constructing the body of if statement is always optional create the body when we are having multiple statement uh, for example a single statement it is not required to specify the body we have already discussed in if uh, simple if statement. Uh, video so now over here see syntax of if else statement if condition is true then statement one will be executed as per the previous flowchart uh, then else part will be ignored see over here if condition is true statement one will be executed and if part and else part will be ignored if condition is false then directly jump to the else part and if part will be ignored and else part will be executed so in any program among if or else only one block will be executed at a time so this is the example one uh, see over here uh, one integer value will be stored in uh, a variable so a is equal to 5 now uh, check the condition if a greater than 0 so put the value of a over here if 5 greater than 0 yes condition is true then print f a is positive and now else part will be ignored get ch and finally uh, program output is a is positive so this is example one example two uh, in example two uh, value of a is equal to minus three it is also integer value now check the condition if a greater than zero the value of a is minus three minus three greater than zero so condition is wrong so directly jump to the else part and if part will be executed so this statement a is positive will not be executed and directly go to the else part and printf a is negative so finally get ch and final output is a is negative thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia thank you thank you so much